Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all to Roosevelt Field. Tonight is January 29th, and the dining district is completed. Shall we go in? You're greeted with this very nice bridge, which has a very nice design on either side, which you can't see right now. Oh, look at this. It's a sample of all the walls. Cool, it's a sample of all the walls. Look at that. Okay, first things first. You're gonna have, come summer, an outdoor seating area. With beautiful flamethrowers. I don't know the name for these things. This lighting. You're probably wondering what this glass thing is. It's a fire pit. As you can see, they are missing one piece of glass. But this is gonna be nice. This is gonna be a fire pit. Okay. So, first of all, I love this wood up here. I'm gonna find out if it's real in a minute. There's only one thing open in the dining district right now, so today me and Hood got Chipotle from downstairs and brought it up here. And there's proof. Is this real or genuine simulator? I think it's real. That's... I don't know if that's real. Anyway, let's go inside, shall we? Beautiful Stanley doors. There's a service elevator there. As you dare. Welcome to the dining district. Actually, let's go this way. There's a janitor coming, so hang on. There's the new bathrooms. Here's Charlie's moving from the old food court. Taco Bell. Patsy's. I believe they had a location in Sayasid at one time. Wendy's. Janitorial team, gotta get around them. Sarko Asian Channel, I'm sorry. And Sushi Fuji. Green Leafs, the only thing open right now. Sarko's up here. Here is the melt shop. Sorry, I'm rushing this now. There's the little beach. Johnny Rockets is over there. I really like the Johnny Rockets here. I'm going to show you that in a moment. This is going to be another store. This is the main thoroughfare through the dining district. Whoever this is is going to be front and center. Trey Carnes. They're bringing in a lot of New York City eateries. Also, I want you to notice how many different chairs and different wood grains and different patterns they have here. It's really nice if you're into architecture. This is genuine simulated wood grain. This is what we call the cheese. Say hi, Hood. This is the tour. What are we in, Hood? Yes, the cheese. What, you're sending a Snapchat? Did you get mine? Potatopia. Yes. What? We are not going to North Bab. Are you out of your mind? Might as well have picked up Liam. You gotta take the walk around me later, here with me later. There's too many seats for me to try out without you. Mao's vegetarian. Good, now my friend William can eat somewhere here. What I really wanna show you is the Johnny Rockets because for a retro restaurant, I didn't think it would come out good in a modern setting like this, but damn, they did this right. Wow. Little lounge over here. Johnny Rockets. What I like about the dining district is number one, there are so many different seats. I don't know if you've been noticing as I've been walking by. There's a lot of alcoves, like this and the cheese. 
And this glass, I was worried somebody was gonna break it, that ain't gonna happen. This shit's solid. This is an interesting floor. This floor is not used anywhere else in the mall. I really, I, I, I don't feel like I'm at Roosevelt Field right now. I don't feel like I'm at the mall right now. I feel like I'm at a Westfield mall. This is what you're greeted to when you come in from the parking deck. So you notice the poles are different in architecture. Those are like green, this blue with wood, and these are red with orange. Not to mention the textures of the seats are different depending on what side I'm on. Well, these two are the same, but those are different. See, these seats are different. These are white. These are Brunswick style. Kirsch will get that joke. And I see somebody has already placed a chair out of place here. See, the problem is chairs are going to get mixed up here. They shouldn't have put in so many different chairs and expected it to work because chairs are going to get mixed up as you see. I hate that ad. It freaking scares me every time. Let me show you one of the biggest perks that we have here. And uh, Brock, I owe you an apology. I said they probably weren't going to have these. But sure enough, power outlets. That was actually timed perfectly. I'm loving the shiny rockets right now. Would you ever guess that this was built in 2014? Thank you. Oh, I didn't even notice Potatopia's sign. Shows you how fucking oblivious I am. Interesting mending work they've done over here. Let's go see what Hood's doing in the cheese. Yep. Let's take a seat in the cheese, because we inaugurated these seats. We have our genuine simulated wood grain. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you can kind of see into the old food court, which I will be giving a brief tour of later. With that being said, I hope you've enjoyed the dining district. Fuck. Okay, now that we're done with the dining district, there's one thing we have left to do, right, Hood? Yeah. We have to take our last walk through the old food court, because it's closing on Sunday. Let's hope Bloomingdale's has to reinsure us that they're open. Rest in peace, Mrs. Fields. You will be well missed. There is going to be an elevator over here, which is going to open up into a main thoroughfare that's going to go across to the dining district. Probably going to break. It's a cone, eh? If it runs anything like the one in the back. Well, here it is. For the last time. Let's go through the livelier part first. Now, I know you non Roosevelt Fieldians are probably going, what the fuck do these strange markings on the floor mean? Well, as you're going to see from a distance. Oh, look, they took out all the Akus. This was supposed to be designed. This is, a, this is a big Zeppelin, and this is supposed to be the landing area. I know a lot of people who like this mall are going to miss it. Yeah. How do you KFC? Well, are you open? Not anymore, you don't. Taco Bell. Ranch one. Put I'm not gonna miss this. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna miss this. Yeah, I hear you. There's Chewbacca. And we are standing where the new Chewbacca is going to come up. As you can see, Johnny Rocket's new seats are in a bit better shape than these. Oh, do you want to get your last sample? Collect your last sample. Ah, uh, the grill. Probably the most short-lived thing here. It's fortunate, though. Unfortunate. Now, this part of the food court is completely dead. Because everything is moved already, or in the process of moving. 
Well, one thing. There's the Zeppelin. And we have some stories about Texas Barbecue Factory. If you'd like to hear them, please private message us. Thankfully, they are not moving over. This was Wendy's, as you can tell. Manager. Yeah, There's nobody coming to serve us, and you're not That's using, and the napkins there. aren't brand. And menus up there, but you're not serving anything. I'm gonna miss this in a weird way. Oh, one thing I hope doesn't happen in the dining district. I hope these tables don't become ad space. They probably will, but I'm thinking optimistically here. Look at that Minute Maid logo. Wow. Orange soda? When did they do that? In Sprite. Look at the cherry coke and the Sprite. This is an old, I think this was just uncovered. I never noticed this. Oh look, there's some more, see this one's a bit more up to date. Do you wanna go in there? Well guys, I'm gonna let you guys be the judge here. Hold on. Here's the rendering. There's the cheese. How do you think it came out? I say they followed the renderings religiously. Religiously. And now we're standing at the mouth of the blimp, which is soon to pull a massive Hindenburg. So I guess we'll walk over to Chewbacca and call it quits there. You know what I'm hoping doesn't happen, though? What? They've got to leave a passageway open, like, right here to let you through. Yeah. They can't just completely shut that off. It'll fuck everything up. Also, rest in peace, the steel trawls. They're all gone, except for a select few. And you know what you never noticed? You never seem to notice there was a skylight there. Oh, yeah. You always forget about that skylight. That's why this looks so bleak right now, because there's no sunlight coming through. And this was Sabaros. Hood's very upset that they left, right? Very. I love how when something retail related dies, we always give it a proper funeral. Don't you think? Well, that's something we really don't like. Yeah. And that's it.